Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name's Anorak, you can call me Zed, and today we're back in Wobble Dogs. So, you know, what I always do is I want to make sure my dogs are doing good, so I make sure to feed them every time. So, you portable fan, go ahead and eat poop. Trust me, it's great for you. The funny thing is, they, like, it is actually great for their, um, what's it called? Mutation, right? Hey, Randy, what if you eat a baby tooth, huh? Yeah, thank you. Also, eat a clump of dirt, please. There you go, good boy. And thermometer, you have a chicken nugget, eat it! Now, there isn't a whole, whole lot I can do right now, because I don't think we have- Oh, we have one unfertilized egg, but, uh, don't think we want to do that quite yet. Because we want to wait for a t-shirt and portable fan to, uh, age up. Now, that will take a while. I will be the first to admit that. Uh, let's actually give t-shirt a baby tooth to eat. As I'm pretty sure that makes the, uh, like, main body more white. Which I find funny for the, like, dog that is literally already blinding me. Just by looking at it. Eat the baby tooth. Thank you. Uh, portable fan's doing good. Thermometer, just go to, go to sleep, buddy. Thank you. But as you can see, we don't have a whole lot going on here. I mean, if we go to build, what can we really do? Oh, we can add a whole new pen. Hmm. Well, then let's do, uh, this. There we go. This way I can choose to move a dog in here. So that's good. But then, let's say we just want to look in here, see what we want to do. Let's see. You want a spooky carpet? Let's do the simulated floor, maybe. I like that. Simulated floor. With a maze wall. Don't have any decorations. We do have a jukebox, I guess, we can put in here. Let me rotate it. Set it over here. Actually, no. Let's make it smaller. So let's set it here and size it down to be dog-sized. Uh, we already have food dispensers, although we could put in the jungle food dispenser. I think we are. Let me just go ahead and put it here. I'm also going to scale this down, just for convenience's sake. Uh, let's do a frond wall back over here. I think they're cool. There we go. And no window wall, don't want a hedge, and I don't want to plant stuff. So, that's good for now. Let's just go ahead and play. And it looks like, while I was doing that, they dug us up a capsule. So let's open it. Stained carpet. Lovely, thank you. Uh, but over here, as you can see, we have more stuff. Coconut, cut fruit, and banana. I'm gonna go ahead and select the cut fruit. Uh, so... That's all good. Let's bring some out here. Uh, t-shirt... Oh! There are two capsules in here I missed somehow. Let's see. Rainbow circle wall. Alright and Boneyard Carpet. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, let's just say Boneyard Carpet will become useful later. Sorry for expelling you like that t-shirt. I just needed you to go and eat cut fruit, please. Hi, yes, eat. Eat the fruit. Uh, you too, portable fan. You, you too. You come over here and eat. Just eat that. And they are eating now. And, uh, we got something here. We got the road carpet for finding different types of gut flora. And if we look here, we have this, and we have this. You know? Uh, two new things. Uh, thermometer, eat. So, you know. Okay, come on, Randy, seriously. You're going to eat, and then you're going to fall straight asleep. So, as you can see... Oh no, Randy's getting old. They don't have much time left. He won't die yet, but uh, it's getting there. And Portable Fan? Uh, I guess you can go ahead and pupate. So we get to see Portable Fan grow up. And you know, obviously when pupating you want to pet them because that raises a mutation level, for whatever reason. So we're gonna have to wait and see what Portable Fan looks like once they've mutated. And also, once Randy's awake, we're going to see him pass away. And 
But Wobble Dogs, quote unquote, die in a very, very funny manner. Which I guess you'll see in a handful of minutes. I think it's like. I think they give us that notification five minutes before the dog. Anyway, let's go ahead and clean up this uh, goop. And let's see. Portable fan fell. And let's look. Here are the mutations. You can see here, much bigger, different color, and different, uh, more color. So know that your color got a little bit more brown or green, I guess. Leg color got lighter, and body color became more salmon-y. So, pretty much everything went up. Right, X, including metallic legs. And since I cleaned up uh, puddles, I get a water bottle. If we look here, we find these do short body and yellow coloration. And these do intense pattern. So that's definitely interesting. We'll have to keep an eye out on patterns later. And portable fan, since you just mutated, you should probably also go ahead and sleep. We don't want you to just suddenly pass out. You know, Randy's in here, falling down. But uh, don't worry, when he's about to die, we'll know. The game tells us, and then he just does a cute little howl. Anyway, here's a french fry. Eat it. Nice. Uh, thermometer, yeah, you just uh, keep doing you, buddy. In fact, go to sleep. So, you know, we don't have any dogs over in here. But uh, we'll get to that later. Since I like keeping the dogs all in one room, because it's interesting. But, uh, hmm. Oh, what are you doing over here? What are, what are you digging up? What are you going to get for us, Randy? Hmm? Dirt. Just dirt. Alright, well, right now there isn't a whole lot to talk about, so I'm going to work on building. So, in fact, I'm going to instead do this, and, uh, hmm, maybe, hold on, I have an idea. Hold on, mm, where, what's it doing? What's it doing now? There we go. No. Oh, hmm. Being really insistent about this being here now. Hmm. Hold on. This is being a bit stupid. Huh. Oh, that's how. Duh. I'm an idiot. So, you know, what I just did is got rid of the thing that was up top and just moved it over here. In fact, in a little, I'm probably even going to change it so it's down at the bottom. Anyway, we're just going to keep an eye on our dogs. Got another capsule. That's always lovely. Got a toilet for a dog. And we get an arcade floor as well. Hmm. As you can see, though, T-shirt having the time of his little life, just goofing off, being a little goofy buddy. Thermometer is in there hungry. Randy is out here living his best life. Although, soon enough he ain't gonna be living, but, uh, that's a, uh, whatever, whatever. And Portable Fan also just goofing off. Yeah, you, you're, you're good dogs, both of ya. Alright, now let's see. Anything interesting? Randy, why are you digging again? What are you digging for? Please be another castle. Okay, that's not a capsule, but thank you anyway. Alright, so, you know, as I said, not much going on. Let's turn on the jukebox so we have some tunes. Ooh, the dogs seem to like that. They dancing. Oh, he's bouncing. Oh, so are you. You're bouncing. You're trying. You're trying, t-shirt. But yeah, they really like these tunes. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off, though. You can see they're still wiggling around. Uh, T-shirt, go ahead and take a nap. You're starting to get tired. Thermometer. Eat. I'm going to expel you. And the Oh, sorry. Then I'm going to shove you over here. Where you are going to eat. Eat a cut fruit. Hmm? Randy, you can keep doing whatever you want. You ain't gonna live much longer, so might as well live good, you know? 
Let's see, do I have any eggs? Oh, I forgot I had fertilized eggs already. Huh. In that case... Oh! Hold on. Oh no, Randy. Guys, this is how the Wobble Dogs die. It's very sad. Very emotional. Poor Randy. Yep. Yeah, pop the part. Just like that. Now, uh, a thing about Wobble Dogs is, uh, they get very hungry. In fact, they can eat other dogs. Their favorite meal, even. And when they eat it, they get some of the gut flora of the dead dog. So, when we go ahead and have him mutate, he has more gut flora. Now this, this is Randy's high-quality dog core. We're going to go ahead and put it away for now. But I'll go ahead and tell you something you can do with it. With the dog core, you can split it open and feed it to another dog. And what that does is that um, pretty much makes the dog live longer. You feed, you feed a dog a dead dog, and the dog lives longer. You know? Now let's see how T-Shirt mutated. Just got bigger. Oh! Let's see. Yeah, you're right. Ears, ears and nose color changed. Let's see. Other than just getting generally bigger, no no new very interesting changes, so that's a little upsetting. But then another thing you can do with dog horse, another thing, is that you can just simply uh, memorialize them. And what that does is that allows a dog to pretty much have a little graveyard. And if you get enough graveyard like graves together, well then... Let's see, that does not look good together. Let's... Hmm. Let's do... This. There we go. It looks a bit boring, but it's fine. I'm gonna put a jungle dispenser here. And a regular food dispenser here. And a incubator here. You know? Hey, new, new dog room. New dog room. So what we're going to do... Is go ahead and incubate two new eggs. And that... I wish, although I do wish this were quieter. Hold on. Let's see. That is controls. What am I doing? Uh, audio. Can't much change the sound effect to audio without getting everything quieter. Can I just mute that, please? Hmm? Anyway. What was I saying? I don't know. Um. Oh, yes. If you have enough, and I, of, uh. Oh. Well, I guess you're in there now. If you have a, if you have enough of, uh, can I please get an actual thought out before it goes? There we go. If you have enough of uh, uh, graves, then what will happen? Yo, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted. Yo, this dog is named Drip. Dog with the drip. Heck yeah. He is keeping that name. He has dripped out the wazoo. Okay. And let's see, crouton. Kind of fits, but uh, what, what's another good name? Uh, let me look around my room real quick. I have an idea. I'm going to call him Funko Pop. There we go. Two new dogs, Drip and Funko Pop. Oh, I think I think Fran I think T-shirt's feeling a bit sick. I almost called him Randy though. Well, as we can see, Drip is over here now. A thermometer sleeping, portable fan sleeping, t-shirt's doing fine, Drip and Funko Pop are doing fine. Ooh, Funko Pop does not like being pet. And Drip loves talking. And is very polite. That's good. Now, let's see. We have a whole lot of stuff here, so let's go ahead and spit out some coconuts as well. All Overall, lots of stuff over here. Not a lot of stuff over here, and the dogs don't want to seem to go over there. So we're going to throw t-shirt there. And we're also going to throw a uh, Funko Pop there. And they just get launched. Just straight up launched. Now, Funko Pop, could you go and try and eat a banana? I want to see you try and walk. Oh, buddy, t-shirt, what you doing? What are you doing? Huh? You 
also go over and eat a banana. Both of you. Alright, and anything interesting happening over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, thermometer's over here, though. And we did unlock a new thing. You know, it, it's, it's banana gut flora. Very good for dogs. Very good for dogs. And, you know, T-shirt's getting a bit tired, so we'll have him sleep. And it looks like Thermometer is going to build the new den over here. Because each room can have a den. And I'm going to go ahead and bring over some dirt clumps. That way the dogs won't be digging everywhere. You know, what the dog doing and all that. So I'm going to just grab dirt. Bring it over. More dirt. Bring it over. That's coconut, not dirt. I almost brought over coconut. Let's expel all the items here. Don't know why there's a coconut in there. But now, they have more dirt. Well, let's look at all the dirt they have here. So much dirt. I gotta move all of it over here. So, you know, this is a little boring, and you know... At times, Wobble Dogs can get a little bit uh, repetitive. But as you can see there, Thermometer just laid a capsule. We get a zebra wallpaper. That's great. Uh, let's see, where's Drip? Drip, you're over there, you already have something. Go ahead and eat it. Go ahead and eat it. Uh, Funko Pop, you gotta eat. Let's give you some coconut. Funko Pop, eat a coconut, please. Grip is doing great. Portable fan, thermometer, y'all need to eat. Oh, and it looks like, uh, looks like our little man, Drip, yacked. That's, that's great. Let, let's see. Right now, we can't breed any dogs. We don't have enough. We have literally just thermometer. No one else is old enough, so we'll have to wait for a portable fan or t-shirt. Oh, portable fan, speaking of which, is ready to pupate. So that's great. Uh, that means that in just a moment we'll be able to breed more dog. Unless Thermometer passes away. Let's see, yeah, Thermometer is really close to passing. Although, Drip, you need to eat. Why aren't you eating? You are literally at the food pile, and you are hungry. Eat. And now that you're finished eating, sleep. Funko Pop, you too? Jesus, these dogs do not want to eat. What is wrong with y'all? Oh, okay. You're, you're, you're feeling a bit sick. That's not that's not good. Okay, let, let's... Let's eat the coconut, buddy. Eat the coconut. And you yacked again. Are you okay? Will you eat? There we go. And then we'll... Oh yeah, you didn't like that. I forgot. Well, we got an inflatable dog from that, so, um... It's not all bad, I guess? Hmm. Either way, Funko Pop, you know, you, you need to actually, you know, eat and sleep sometimes. Either way, Portable Fan is now an adult. So, let's see. Anything very interesting? No, not really. But... We do get another pen, which is nice, and we get on the inflatable dog there, and let's see, we get to see what this does, random mutations. Alright, so, we can go ahead and breed dogs, so let's breed portable fan and thermometer. So, I will go ahead and let you guys know, I do play Wobble Dogs on my own, on my separate save file. However, when I do so, you know, I tend to get achievements. And when I get achievements, I, you know... Wait, what am I saying? No, and yeah, no, I tend to get achievements. So if I have something that seems to be like it should have an achievement here, uh, you know, sometimes it just isn't. I don't know why I just got getting into it completed. I don't know what that's for. Uh, maybe just for breeding a certain number of generations? I don't know. I'm trying to get uh, dogs with funny, unique traits, though. So I'm... I'm hoping we get something good, but right now, these all seem like pretty generic dogs, you know? 
Or at least in the Wobble Dog standards. So, like, let's see. Anything interesting at all here? Like, any new eyes, for example? No. No different amount of legs or anything? No wings? No tails? Nothing. They're just regular dogs. Although, you're green, so you're definitely going to be in the crossbreeding now. And anyone else here even vaguely interesting? No. Alright, let's see. Green dogs, they're, they're a little interesting. Wish they were more than just standard dog, but green, though. How, so, you know, I'll, I'll get achievements, and they'll be for things that we don't have on here. Like, I've recently got an achievement for breeding a dog with wings. I've got an achievement before for breeding a dog with a tail, and even breeding a dog with two tails. You know, you, you don't get those achievements once you first got them. Also, why are all of these dogs becoming uh, pretty much yet another version of Drip? All of these dogs are just Drip squared, I guess. So, you know, that's not quite what I want. Although, they do have horns now that I just realized. Like, if you take a look at the dog, that those ears look vaguely like horns. Except, except for the dog right there. That was a bit boring. So, you know. I'm hoping to get some unique traits here. Like, even just a dog with missing one leg. That would be interesting, you know? That would be something we can do. That's, some, that's something... We can, you know, handle. Okay, now we're getting into the things are going unstable, so it's a bit interesting now. So, let's see. Tiny litter. We're forced with this dog, but he has a, he has a swanky looking eye. If he'll stay still. Hold on. Let me look at your eye. Yeah, look at that. It looks like it's trying to split in half. Plus, he's a purple color. We don't have purple. So, you know, that's great. I'm going to skip this. I'm sure no one wants to see that cutscene again. It was a bad cutscene. Not as in it was poorly crafted, but as in, oh god, why does that exist? Well, now we can finally look at what the getting into it achievement is. Ah, playing for an hour, so we get another food dispenser. Now, this food dispenser is a little bit interesting, in my opinion, at least. Uh, wait, thermometer's over here. Thermometer? Uh, nap time. Ooh. Hold on, before I get talking about that, looks like Drip is going to pupate. And then after that, we can pupate Funko Pop. Alright, and let's look at Funko Pop. Funko Pop, you need to eat. Why aren't you eating? Once you eat that, eat this. Or not. Alright, well, Funko Pop is also pupating, so let's go ahead and pet them. There we go. Portable fan, nap time. T-shirt, you need to eat. Let's look here. Uh, coconut thing. Uh, and thermometer is doing great now. So let's go ahead and see how drip has changed. How has drip changed? How has drip mutated? Let's see, here's the original, here's the now. Uh, not much has changed, like at all. So, you know, whatever. That's just, that's just drip being drip. And this, as I say, tiny wings. Now, cut fruit on its own does not generate tiny wings, but it increases, but it, no, it decreases the size of wings that currently exist, and if a dog is bred while having uh, those genes in its body, it's more likely to have a pup with uh, tiny wings, if I understand it correctly. But, you know, that, that's just how it is. It's a little, little bit funky, but not too bad. Can you go ahead and incubate that dog? Don't know what they're going to be called yet, at all. And while we're waiting for them, let's go ahead and build a space lab food thing. And that should be good. Let's see. We have alien fruit, dehydrated treat, moon cheese, and onion root. I'm going to select moon cheese and just have a lot of it. If I can actually click stuff. There's a lot of moon cheese here. Just eat all the cheese. And here is our new dog. What should this dog's name be? Hmm? What does this look like? Let's look. Hmm. I do really like just looking around my room for things, though. 
Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds about right. What about bowling pin? I like bowling pin. Oh, that is not how I spell pin. There we go, bowling pin. Great. Now we have a little dog named Bowling Pin. He's great. I love him. Portable fan, you're doing great. T-shirt, you need to sleep. How many times do I have to tell you? Sleeping is important. Thermometer, where, where are you? You there. Eat. Eat something. I don't care what you eat, just eat. I'm bringing you a coconut so you can eat. What do you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Eat it. I, mm, okay, drip, keep on being dripped out. Funko Pop, sleep. Just sleep. Just fall unconscious. And bowling pin, your baby. Eat moon cheese. You're going to eat moon cheese. And you get this gene. It looks kind of gross. I agree. Now let's see. I heard a foop, so yep. Uh, let's see. Anything here I can do. Oh! Thermometer's getting old. That's not good. Thermometer, let's go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and pet you. You know? Now, thermometer, getting old. Doesn't mean they're gonna die quite yet. But, uh, it's close there. It is close. Let's go ahead and expel all the items in there. And a lot of dirt gets sucked up and launched. So let's go ahead and bring all the dirt over here until it's uh, fully done. Sorry, dogs. Let's see. Okay, and this needs only one more piece of dirt. Has the dirt gone through? It has. Don't, don't send it back. Come on, guys. I'm trying to send the dirt through. You guys are seriously misbehaving here, aren't you? Alright, let's actually get the dirt through. And bring it over here. That's good now. Let's see. How's everyone doing? Portable fan, where are you? You? Eat. Eat something. I don't care what you eat. Just eat. T-shirt. T-shirt, you're about to mutate. That's great. That is, act that is actually great. Just eat a little bit of moon cheese first. Just throwing you there. And then also eat this. Good dog. I'm gonna pet you, so you also know to eat, and then I'm gonna mutate you. So let's see how T-shirt does, you know? Let's see what- what does T-shirt look like as an adult? I don't know, you know? But we could get to see this here, and this here. Flora. New Flora. We've, that we have not viewed yet. And Thermometer, you go to sleep for now. Drip. Uh, just sleep too. All my dog, all my dogs in any game I ever play have a problem with never going to sleep. Let's see. Let's look at bowling pin. Bowling pin is rude. Sounds about right. You would be rude too if someone named you bowling pin. Oof. Let's see. Has T-shirt changed much? No. <laughs> Just bigger. And you know that's kind of normal for a dog. Most dogs don't mutate vastly. And as you can see, you know. We're getting to learn a bit more about our little gut flora. That's that's great, actually, you know? Now, I want to check something. Because I know that once a dog becomes a dog, like an adult, we get a new dog egg. So let's collect it. Do another breeding thing. Let's do portable fan and t-shirt. We get to see what new dog they will create together. So first off... Already liking the ears. That's great. So we're gonna definitely grab you. I love those ears. They're great. Uh, also love the square eyes. Let's, let's do that. Let's see. What do we get out of here? Uh. Hmm. You have square eyes, but I don't... Hmm. You know what? I, I guess I'll go with this one then. You know? Hmm. It does have short ears. That's kind of funny. Ooh, we got a pink dog in there. Let's see. Do you have... No, you don't even have the funny ears. Dang, dude. Okay, at least you have the funny ears, though. Let's see. 
I, re I really want to see what sort of dog we can create. Heck, it might not even be a dog at that point. You have swanky ears. They, they bend back and forth. That's, that's kind of cool. Although I have noticed I have a tendency to turn my dogs green, I guess. Wonder why that is. That's a dog. That is a dog color. I'm, I see two of you that are kind of yellow-ish, so you and you are the most yellow dogs here. Only reason I'm going for yellow is, hey, it's something new we don't have, you know? Let's see. Let's do you two. Oh, heck, you even got the square eyes I wanted. And the funny ears. Dang. Massive litter. That's great. Okay, any uh, square-eyed funny ear dogs? Yes, square-eyed funny ears. And let's see, do I want the square eyes more or the funny ears? I want the funny ears more. Square eyes are great and all, but not unless you got the funny ears. You're changing color, that's definitely interesting. Uh, funny ears seem to be passing down, except on you. Uh, you have blue funny ears, that's kind of funny. And you have the eyes. And you have very neon green. And you have the great eyes. So, that's good. Hmm. Uh, your face is big. Kind of funny, I guess. Hmm. I want to try and make a funny dog. An objectively funny looking dog. And yet none of them quite look funny enough. They're getting close. Ah, we got a tiny litter. That is not as funny as a dog as it could be. We can't even crossbreed him. We gotta select him as the final dog. Gonna go ahead and skip through this again. But at least he looks very different from any dog I currently have, you know? That's always a good thing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it is. Yep, definitely is a good thing. Now, from that, we do get to see... Oh, wait, no. That's because of someone else, I guess. Okay. Uh, we have a fertilized dog egg there. We do gotta make sure we keep on track of these dogs, though. Like you, you need to sleep. I need to clean that up. Uh, Funko Pop, you need to eat. Uh, go ahead and eat a cocoon, actually. That, that, that'd be good for you. Drip. Drip, you need to eat. I, I, I hate having to constantly tell you guys to eat stuff. Thermometer, you're gonna die, so have a good time. Um, portable fan, you're just overall not taking good care of your health, are ya? Let me open up this capsule. Got concrete. Uh, eat a coconut. Eat a coconut. You gonna eat poop? Please don't. Alright. You have been thrown. In fact, why don't you go over here? And build. Build that. You're going to die anyway, so please build. You know? Hey, don't vomit. Why are you dogs vomiting? That ain't good. Okay. Yes, build that. Please. Thank you, thermometer. Thank you. You have built that spell. Thank you. There's Ben Dog. I have to clean some stuff up, because none of the dogs want to actually take care of their own health. Oh, it looks like Bowling Pin's gonna mutate. Actually, Bowling Pin, you aren't going to mutate until Thermometer is dead. That way you can harvest off of Thermometer. You know, it's just a circle of life, buddy. I know, it sucks, but hey, you get to harvest on a dead corpse. It's gonna be great. And you too, Funko Pop. You, you get the same treatment, both of ya. What you doing? Hey! No! Scold. That wasn't an object, that was a dog! You know what? Just don't. What are you going to do? Don't attack Bowling Pin. Thank you. Haha, uh -huh. funny. The dog. Oh, he fall. Well, let's see. Hmm. Oh, thermometer is dying! Come on. 
Sit over here. Look. You're gonna see him howl. Crap. Not you two. Alright. Now. Eat. Yes. Eat on. Eat. Feast. Feast. Get all that gut flora. And now I'm gonna put that away. And now you can mutate. Now that you have eaten someone, mutate. Alright. Portable fan, what are you doing? You need to actually eat. Are you trying to die? Just go in here and feast upon the dead corpse like everyone else. At least we got a window divider. What are you doing? Portable fan, you need to eat. Portable fan. If you do not eat this dog head. Thank you. Okay, now eat dirt. Okay, let's see. Bowling pin's gonna hatch. Let's, let's, let's see how bowling pin turns out, you know? Can't be that bad, right? You know? Uh, not much changed. Like, really not much. Hmm. Didn't even get significantly bigger or anything. So I guess we're going to patch up a new dog. So look, we can go ahead and look at the gut flora stuff. Alright. All interesting stuff. And then, once this new dog hatches, we need to get our dogs to actually eat and sleep. And our dogs are freaking starving because they don't know how to care for themselves. Wow. Well, we have a new dog. Um, what should I name this dog? Let me look around my room again. It's, it's the best place for inspiration. Um, let's see, what should I call you? Hmm, I already have thermometer. What, what's a good one? Hmm, I'm gonna call you poster. Just poster. It, I don't know, it's, it's a name. You're a dog. Dogs have names. That, that, yeah. Now you, T-shirt, you need to eat. You don't want to die now, do you? Funko Pop, where are you? You. Sleep. Uh, Drip, you too. Portable Fan, eat. Bowling Pin, you're doing great, so are you, Poster. I think that's going to be it for today. All the dogs are doing all the things. Everything's going on. So I think that's going to be it. Uh, I enjoy this, as always, and I hope you guys do too. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!